there, she's a basic cheat. If you have a problem with doll nudity, get a life. Hello and welcome to Retro 70s Kid. I hope you had a good weekend. I did, mine was very busy. I had a garage sale, which is more like a pop-up shop, and went to a car boot and got some great stuff. First of all, I, nah, here we go, this one first. I got this. It's a beautiful Star Wars wall hanging, which lights up. Now, I can't remember what movie this is from. You will all know, but I think it's handmade. It's actually like spongy and the body parts are spongy. Can you see that? But the lightsabers light up, which is really, really cool. So it was only $10 and I've never seen one before and I couldn't find anything on eBay. So I'm going to be taking down all the re records that are on the wall. I'm going to be putting this up and some other things that I might get because we've had the record long enough, I think. So that's that beautiful stuff. See, it might be handmade actually because in this corner there's a, an initi initial. So I don't know because the back looks a bit homemade. That's the back of it. But whoever did it, did a really good job. So that's that. Did you get a good look? It does have a few little marks on it because my cat Penny, which you might be familiar with, I caught her sleeping on it last night and I think she's scratched it a bit, but that's okay. No one will see it on the back wall. And then I got this really lovely Bratz wall hanging on canvas. For when I do Bratz shows, I can put this in the background. So all you Bratz collectors out there, have you seen one of these before? It's beautiful. Oh, actually, I think it might be homemade because look at the back of it. It might be done of a bed sheet or a pillowcase or something, but that's quite nice. You can tell it's the Bratz girls. That was only $2. And to get on with the real scores, now for the doll collectors out there, the Barbie collectors, the 1985 vintage astronaut Barbie. And um, I know this was re-released, was it this year or last year? It was very, very recent that they've re-released this actual doll. And this is unopened in the box since 1985. We'll give you a close up look. Look at that top. It's absolutely beautiful. And she comes with the skirt and the helmet. And she may even come with a flag because that's the back of it. So I'll be reselling this because you won't believe what I got it for. You probably just saw it. $12, can you believe it? I can sell this tomorrow for 50 at a minimum. So um, 12 bucks, you don't often come across that sort of deal. So that's Barbie, astronaut Barbie. And a 2002 Mycene Barbie, beautiful in the box. The box isn't discolored, it's almost perfect. There may be a few tiny scuff marks but this is a 2000, the, the date on the box says 2002. And this is one with the, comes with two extra outfits. It's not called anything. I think it's just like one of the first release. If it's 2002, that has to be like the first year, I do believe. I could be wrong, but it's very early in the Mycene line, which was of course the competition to Bratz, which came out in 2001. So, um, and this was only $15 which I thought was an absolute bargain. So that's a beautiful mycene, which I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a box opening or sell it on. I I'm, I'm just have to think about that. So that's her. Now this I didn't actually get at a car boot. I bought it a while ago at a vintage toy fair and it has been displayed and opened, but it's a Only Hearts Club doll. Now the difference with these is they, they're a plush body. This is a necklace that came with it. 
That's just a little bracelet. That's for the for the little girl who buys it. And that's got something on the back. I'm not, what does it say? I don't know if that's a word or, or what, but yeah, just a little bracelet. And that's the doll. See how her legs, she's got bendy legs and bendy arms, and but she's completely stuffed body with a wire frame, like a wire skeleton. And you can even see the shape in her legs. See her funny little feet? But there was a whole range of these. There are the girls on the back. And this care bear didn't actually come with her, but it goes with her very well, so I've left her with it. Then I've never I've taken her clothes off, but um, you can you, you buy all outfits and everything for them. But look at that little face. It's a very, very hard plastic. Glass, well, glass or resin inset eyes. And the little, little hands. So these are rare, you never really find, I've never seen any second hand ever. Only ever on eBay and they're always very, very pricey. So, that's her. Then, I found a knockoff. I love knockoff dolls because they're so funny sometimes. This is, to me, a Mycene knockoff. Which comes with some really bizarre accessories. She's a nurse. So I'm looking forward to getting her out and seeing um, how bad she is or how good she is. But it's called... Babies with a Y, Sally, the Hu Ye series. Uh, this is obviously, is it Chinese or Japanese? Magic Doctor. Nothing on the back. Very, probably from 2002, I'm guessing 2003. But she's almost bursting out. So I'm going to, she's a doctor or nurse. There we go. Yeah, she's cheaper, and uh, her legs kind of bend. Kind of bend. You see that? It's not a full bend, but I'm really surprised that she's got that mechanism, like, like a Barbie. But I think Barbie would go snap, snap a little bit more. That's her face. Now I've got one to compare. That's an original. Look at the height difference. And I think the, this one's head's even bigger, isn't it? Oh no, the heads are about the same size. You can see what they're going for. And the hair. The hair, of course, of the cheaper one is sparsely rooted. We'll have a look. See, it's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse from cheap dolls. So that's, that's not bad. I get, if you gave it a few brushings and played with it, it probably wouldn't last very long, I'm guessing. She's got her arms, a terrible, terrible cheap dress. So yeah, she's a basic cheap. If you have a problem with doll nudity, get a life. And she's got a swivel waist. So for a little cheap doll, she's actually not too bad. Um, Oh, she's got shoes. So she's in this, she's got shoes. I'm guessing a stethoscope for the budding young doctor nurse. Syringe, that's a bit tacky. And a little medical record that she can carry along under her arm, I'm guessing. And she's got some cool little pointy shoes which aren't very nurse-like. And I know they're not gonna fit her. Uh, yeah, they kinda do, they're very big. But they wouldn't play on if a little girl was playing with it. No, that'd, that'd annoy, it'd be very annoying. So that's her, that's her knockoff Mycene compared. Yeah, I don't even think I can display it with my other Mycenes. She can sit at the back. Her accessories. Oh. Now, the other bit I've got, since I've got a knockoff my scene and I've just done a comparison, I thought I'd check a couple of other comparison knockoffs that I've got and we'll do a comparison. 
Oh, they're starting, I've got Bratz. Bratz Boys. And I've had these for years. And they're two different Bratz Boys. El Cheapo. And that's a real one. You can see they're very similar. back see they don't have the what's this called the flocking see that the, the hair is quite sparsely rooted but it still works it doesn't look terrible and I don't mind the different colors in it actually so of course they're a cheaper doll their feet unlike like the brat's feet pop off they've got little I can't even get them off now Anyway, they've got little tiny feet. The shoes are very, look how soft that sh plastic is. And actually, look how soft that is. You can see how cheap that is. And the clothes aren't too bad for a cheap doll. Got the waist. I've actually put the, the Bratz Boys jewelry on him. But um, yeah, compared to a, a real one, because I've got the the, uh, the Bratz Retro Cafe, and these boys have always worked behind the counter at the Bratz Retro Cafe, serving all the real Bratz. So I hope that's not like... Can I say that now? <laughs> it's almost racist. <laughs> so they're the Bratz boy copies. But it's got a tag because I can't remember their names. As, as If you're familiar with my channel, I cannot remember the names. So I've had to write who they are and what year so I can know who they are. So the original and the knockoffs, and Monster High. Excuse me. <coughs> We've got two of the boy Monster Highs. The packaging, of course, is taken from the Scarer City of Frights because both the boxes are the same. Very, very Monster High-like packaging. And they've called this Elves Resurrection for some reason. <laughs> Just the side. So I'm going to take these out and show you. I have taken them out before. I got these on eBay a while ago. And they weren't cheap. That's why I'm reselling them for $10. So here we go. Now, I don't think these are too bad in resemblance, but there we go. Give you a close up look. And I don't think the clothes are too bad on these again. And the shoes, the boots. So I'll show you who they're supposed to look like. Him, look at the hair and the face, very similar. But the height's quite different. And the back. So of course this guy's fully articulated, amazingly so. And this guy is just basic, of course. Just the head, the arms, the legs. Little feet, cute little boots. The detail in those, that's not too bad. Sorry, am I moving too fast? And he's got little shiny bits of glitter in his pants. But yeah, he's a pretty soft body, doesn't twist, but yeah, not as soft as the Bratz boys. And this one, look, he's, look at his hair. I quite like that. The girl ones of these are only about this big and they've got skinny little legs and skinny little hands and they're, they're pretty bad. But that's not too bad. That hair, look at that. Really not too bad at all. And he's even got a vest, separate. I like that top. His boots. And he's supposed to look, I'm guessing, He's supposed to look like this guy. 
because he's got the ears as well of course if you didn't see those he's got ears beautiful I think he's had a haircut I'm not sure but that's another one he's got a cap on so but again he's fully articulated and this is just basic but it's it's not too bad I've seen a lot worse so yeah that's it that's um that's my show tonight <laughs> that's and that's it my beautiful car boot finds and just a few knockoff comparisons oh and my cushions I've got to show you my cushions just a moment I have to get up I'll sh show the cushions on the lounge look wait 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 let me do them up properly aren't they beautiful might need another light on I got these brand new the car boot from a homeware shop, a uh, high quality homeware shop that was closing down and I got $100 worth of cushions for $23. And can you see the close up? It's beautiful, look at the beanie. Very classy. And these are sequins. Look at this one. All jewels. It's just beautiful. I do, I have a soft spot for cushions. I have summer cushions and winter cushions. So now I have new winter cushions. So yeah, they're my new cushions. The last bit of my haul. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. and found it a bit interesting. Um, join me next time for something different and interesting. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Just whatever I feel like doing at the time. And thank you for your likes. And thank you for subscribing. And thank you for your lovely comments. And good night. Thank you. Hang on, I've completely lost where I'm up to. You're gonna have to cut that bit out. Um, don't film me from the waist down, I'm wearing board shorts. And thank you very much, I'm just gonna keep talking and walking around. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh! <laughs> thank you for joining me. Thank you for likes, shares, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and... Start over. <clears throat> and what? Start over. Yeah. Ah, try and get it in one smooth lot. Are you filming?